About a month ago, OpenAI released Whisper, an automated speech recognition system. This system is mind-blowing, it's accurate, it's everything in between now. Introducing Whisper, we've trained and are open sourcing a neural net called Whisper that approaches human level robustness and accuracy on English speech recognition. Now, this is extremely, extremely important because the kind of transcripts being produced by Whisper are almost human level. Now, this will save time and based on what they say here, Whisper is an automatic speech recognition system trained on 680,000 hours of multilingual and multitask supervised data collected from the web. We show that the use of such a large and diverse data set leads to improved robustness to accents, background noise, and technical language. Moreover, it enables transcription in multiple languages as well as translation from those languages into English. We are open sourcing models and inference code to serve as foundation for building useful application and for further research on robust speech processing. This is really awesome. Now, I'm not a programmer. I, I don't even know the last time I wrote a single line of code. You guys are probably if you're watching this video. Now, I need your help. The reason why I need your help is because subtitle edit, one of the best free, actually it's not one of the best, it's the best free subtitling application out there. Introduce this as an experimental and uh, this is a beta version. I'm using uh, the beta version uh, for 3.6.7 before the official release of 3.6.8. Now, uh, when you load your video or your audio uh, to automatically transcribe your audio, uh, we uh, we had the option to audio to text using the VOSC or Caldi models, but now we have the option to use audio to text via Whisper. Now, that's out of the way. We go back to the web. I've gone through uh, the different options here where the creator of this application uh, has uh, recommended with download Python etc. I've done that, installed install pip, I've done everything and uh, these are documentations on how to do it. I've installed Whisper via command line etc. Uh, when you get it not to work, you may need to install a git repository. I've done all that. I've got it to work only using Google Collab. So I've managed to use this, connect, do what, load your audio, I've managed to get it to work through this but for the life of me and this is why I need your help kindly somebody who can document the process of how probably even from installing Python and everything in between to get it to work in a subtitle edit because this can be a game changer especially I'd like to see the results uh, based on uh, what uh, we have with Vosk I'd like to test that out uh, but let's see, this is what I get. I click on audio to text and because I've done all the processes installing Python, Whisper ETC, I get the option to generate text from audio via Whisper speech recognition. You can visit the speech uh, Whisper uh, website and then the language and the, and, the, and the models. So you can choose language. For example, here we have a ton of languages and it supports, I believe, over 100 languages uh, all the way down to Yoruba, ETC, I see Swahili here, something I love to test as well. And then you have your models here. These are the ones that I've downloaded. And you can click on these three dots here to download some more. So based on the different models, the smaller the model, the faster the speech recognition, but gives poorer results. Uh, in the context also depends on the audio. But the bigger the model, for example, a medium model or a large model, will give you better results when you use Whisper speech recognition. Now, it is going to take more time. And I've seen uh, videos on the internet and it's taking a lot of time when you use that. So let's say we go with tiny English, uh, whatever. And then uh, let's not download that actually. Let's just actually, because I already have it, let's click on that. And you can open the folder to see where the models are. And I want to use post-processing, line merge, fixed casing, punctuation, and more. Everything is set up. Now, if I click on generate, it's going to begin the same process of automatic speech recognition. Now, click on generate. It begins the process, but for some reason, 
it gets the option of no text found nothing works so somebody who can just help me out with this simple error of no text found now i've seen somewhere uh, that you need to add some code and the creator is has been good enough if i quickly press on f2 once i hit on generate you'll see that the negative uh, or whatever fp16 uh, value is included in that it comes in really quickly uh, but everything has been done but getting it to work and you'll notice that it looks like it's working is where the problem lies if anybody out there knows how to make this work on subtitle let it that is going to be a big help to us uh, uh, but this is a game changer uh, i'll leave all links to this this is free uh, information uh, that you can read you can read how it works uh, you can see all the different options to install if you want to run it via command line i don't know because i'm tired of writing all these codes everywhere it's just uh, uh, just chaotic but you can see how it works uh, the tiny version is 32 uh, times faster uh, than this uh, but this you also see the requirements for the different options uh, for this and then you'll also see the performance varies uh, widely depending on language the figures below show a wer breakdown by language of flu's data set uh, using the large model more whatever it is see found in the appendix in the paper so you can see how everything performs uh, based on what you choose uh, you can also see whatever uh, using Python ADC actually if somebody can show us how to actually do it on Windows using Python in a step-by-step -step process that will actually also help especially for people who want to create transcripts ATC uh, yeah I believe this is just uh, a video asking for help for somebody who can get whisper to work in subtitle edit so that's it. Somebody out there, if you know how to do it, kindly show us your ways. Thank you so much for watching this video.